I always say I know, but one day I will go more north. Already uh, 30 years ago, I felt that it was a wonder to have silence, to have more authenticity for relation purpose with people. But this I was wondering very small. I was in war with educational uh, process in France. I was a rebel at school because uh, I was not accepting that somebody told me what I have to do. I was not responsible to be uh, alive into this world, to be born. It was not my decision. So probably I was not very happy somewhere. That means that I have been trying to find a, a way of living who could make me happy. It was uh, five o'clock in the morning, in the north of Umanak. A beautiful morning. I made a painting about that. Unbelievable. From the sea, with the morning sun, in June. But the light is fabulous. I think I knew already that I was on the way to be completely seducted by the place and to decide to, uh, to stay longer time. I hate scooters. Before you, you never heard a noise. Can you hear that? But there is more and more now. There's not a lot of dogs around. <laughs> He is taking DNA because I was told his grandmother was paired with an Arctic wolf. <laughs> they are very long story. They are not mixed at all. Maybe the wolf, who knows? <laughs> we say that, but... Hey, look. <laughs> we came in Omanax, it was something like 5,000 dogs still. And maybe now 500, 1,000. For us, I think, and he and me, the, the dogs, it's a matter of uh, pure communication. Eh? It's so pure, it's so uh, veritable. It's so, uh, there is no bullshit. It's clean. Huh? It's, uh, And he is a doctor and I am a painter. So we was led by our professional inspiration. We was wondering to understand the life here, the evolution of the society, which is in mutation. It's a society of hunter and fisherman, and we was not hunter and fisherman. The base of his thought is, uh, of course, a good motivation to be there and to follow this very fast evolution. What are the risks of the globalization or overfishing, overhunting, and so on? One thing is sure that we have to listen to the message of these people, the way of living, the authenticity of living, and so on.
who will never take them in friends because <laughs> it's going to provocate some actions. But it's still actually that we have been eating. So it's very ecological to use everything. Eating by us and by the, the dogs. So there is nothing left. And the teeth we make decoration with. Yeah. What do you say? Blobber? It is well blobber. So people say, are you hunting? Are you interested with dogs? Would you like to try? Well, we were flattered to be invited, so it starts like that. Many times we were invited out of dog sledging, and I thought it was marvelous. And after some years, of course, you want to try. Shyly, we try with one dog, and we try to fish with one who. Everything is coming slowly with time. There was no stress, at least. It was a process of living, a choice of living, something to experiment a new life guided by the interest. The beginning of the relation start with a, a little camera that uh, Annie borrowed. She was just escaping from the hospital to see the royal family. Suddenly I could hear that there was a French voice into the assembly who was not very happy about <laughs> a camera which could not work at the right moment. And so I proposed my help and we met like that. Yes, it's a beautiful story, but I'm not going to tell you everything. We decided to move in the summer 2016 in, in June. Mm. But this was the active life. It was not to spend holidays, it was to work here. And to try to see if it was possible to stay a longer time. They had no chief. Yes. And they asked yes. me if I wanted to stay and to be the chief. I said yes. And at the beginning it was for three years. Mm -hmm. And then three more years, and then three more years. <laughs> but it has been a good decision. Yes. Such an adventure. Yes. After 13 years of hard work as the doctor and the leader for Umanak Hospital, Annie, the love of my life, has made the decision to retire to France. With Annie leaving, I now have to apply for a new permanent visa to stay.
Something in between the wolf and the, the lion. With a harem around and if this unity is broken, so you are feeling alone. So I was missing her when she retreats to France. It's not the next door. And more or less also because the people could not uh, understand why suddenly I was alone. So into their culture, to their eyes, it was because uh, something bad happened between, uh, between us. But it was not the reality, at least. So I guess I, I will have to find a very beautiful village with nice people like in Satut or Ikerasak. Or... But I think I'm too old for that. Must be maybe younger and... Uh... Don't know. Maybe a mink whale. Wow, so nice. I mean, retired six months ago. And I could not really follow because I was working here. And, uh, well, there was all the dogs to help. And the solution was to kill them. And it was out of the question. There is still this problem of uh, permission to stay. It was not difficult to be here when we were the couple of them because she was employed from the state, so as a cobalt, I was fine and get the authorization to be here, but now it's very And actually, I am waiting for my paper for more than three months. I am without paper. It will be dramatic to have to leave. If the worst happens and I have to leave, Jimmy has agreed to care for my dogs until I find a solution. So I am a painter, and besides that, I am teaching every day to a little art place I created, whose name is Tuschlik. This little art center is open for desperate people who are in therapy for suicide motive or whatever else. This was to teach them art because there was no art teaching. And art is a very good tool, like literature, like music, to speak about the evolution of the country. Three times the Prime Minister of Greenland have been in the school to see my result and to give me a hand and to say that's so nice you do, best thing for our children. I am also interested to 
restore old paintings, old uh, historical paintings. Can you hear? It's a rifle. I've been interested to try, but I am not a hunter. I haven't the knowledge of the nature to be a hunter. But sometimes I practice when it is possible. We are eating locally, eating uh, seal meat and whale meat. So it's a pleasure when, of course, it's a result of a hunt. Of course, I was hesitating, but after uh, some years, but you really want to live a, a life grander, so you have to, of course. If not, they will uh, never uh, imagine that you really decide to be integrated. We're just passing through and looking to the boat, and so I got time to say, it's going to come here, and so I will get it. And as soon as I saw the head up, boom! What a surprise, it didn't time to, uh, to feel anything. It was over. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. It's very nice to use it on the floor and to lay make gymnastic exercise like all the old men have to do. <laughs> this is Greenlandic seal. It's the biggest one. A very beautiful. Uh, it was a big seal, so we can make uh, even a small bag with it. As I have some uh, home to put the keys or whatever. And this is very good at this season for the little one. And the mothers who have been giving a lot of milk. Do you say hi to the baby without to beat him? She's not a mother, but she has to recognize him and to accept him. Not tomorrow, it's enough. <laughs> it's a little bit scared. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not dead, but... I think it's a neck. Maybe broken neck. Ah, such a misfortune. No good. I am still waiting to hear about my visa. And these puppies are also waiting. If I have to leave, nobody will adopt them. is going to adopt a little female of the free here to Denmark. He's going to take her to Denmark. I would like to find somebody to adopt the five last one because I have not enough place. They go to be eaten by the others. Now they start to go around and uh, the natural selection. 
only the strong ones survive. And the most clever. Click, correct, try again. It's enough to look to a, an old person who cannot travel anymore with his dog sledge or with his little boat and so on. Sitting a full day behind the window and looking. And sometimes you go to say hi to these people and they are happy to have a presence and so on. But they are happy also to be behind this window and to see the film of their life back. They see themselves taking the gun, adjusting and uh, <laughs> shooting and be happy and so on. But their life has been so fast. They are happy about that. They are there now behind their window, still alive, feeling the time passing. And that's it. It was that. He's born, has been follow the, the model of his ancestors, adapting himself to the modernity and looking analyzing, making the point about his life, if it was a good life or a bad one, never a bad one, always a good one. Well, after a life of uh, dancing and uh, making exhibition, traveling with boats, sailing boats, and uh, to prove myself what? Something probably I never found out, but I found out by looking to these old people. The answer is very simple, a path, a sensation to be alive, to do the right things, to be okay with the people. No conflict, no discussion. I think this is marvelous. It is a big pleasure growing and we don't know where are the limits of this pleasure. It's as they was able to feel more and more sensations and uh, they are getting more and more sensible and me also. And so we get more and more uh, friendly. And so at least we share the nature together. That's, uh, that's the final price. There is nothing more beautiful, I think. So today I got the letter from the integration minister from Denmark. I've been waiting nine months to get this answer, which is unfortunately no good. We went again through your declaration about your claim of December 2017. Integration minister don't find any reason to change their first decision. This oblige you to leave Greenland later one month after the reception of our decision. If you are not leaving voluntarily, you will be evicted and punished for unlawful presence in Greenland. But we have been here, Annie and me, working 14 years, and we are integrated into the population, and we have to take the decision to run away, to close the house, so I have to pack everything. It's a prison. It's 
if I am going out, the art school is going to close. No teaching. I am out from my artist group. And uh, the worst, effectively, will be to have to say goodbye to the dogs. After uh, so many years of work with the dogs, that it succeed at least. And now I am feeling as a Greenlander. I am a Greenlander. And I cannot imagine that I will be able to live with, without them. It will be very, very difficult. Jimmy has also been refused a visa. So I have to find somebody to adopt them. They are too big to, uh, to, be, uh, to be killed, I must say. I will, uh, I will not be able to do such a thing. So I have to find a master before leaving. Very best friend. You can do everything with him. <laughs> we understand. Yeah, it's a very bad minister, the Danish. Even the iceberg are mad about the minister. Honey. Woo. 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 <laughs> no, she's not interested anymore. There's no purpose now. It was not a colonialist wonder, but it was to see what we could bring to live with them, to share. It's a punishment over my life choice, at least. They punished my decision to stay in Greenland and to continue my work with the Society of Humanity. So is it politic because we have been doing many things in Humanity and uh, caring about people and so on and 
trying to give answer to the questions. And I don't know. It's not clear. I cannot understand. I cannot accept it. Sophie and Hans, my very best friend in Umanak, are coming to, uh, for the dinner because I'm going to leave uh, in two days now. It's not over, I guarantee you. Ah, Ikke som dig. Du er ikke kun bønt. Du benytter vores egen ting. Prøv at tænke lidt på det. Det har du slet ikke tænkt på, vel? Nej. Det er noget helt andet. Nej. Jeg har aldrig tænkt på det. Fordi du, du betragter dig simpelthen som... En lille skib. En lille... <laughs> Om man er med ude, ikke også? Ja. ja. Jeg vil meget gerne, men jeg er nu ikke en lille umand af mødet. Det er jo det, som jeg gerne har. Vi skal bare... Tak for det! Så vi føler som Greenlander, som dem. Det er ikke så kompliceret. I can see my neighbors are also very contemplative. They are born here, but they look with surprise the change of landscape with uh, this big island drifting around. It's a fantastic motion all the time. Much more important than uh, us as people who are nothing into this nature. It's still Arctic. I mean, it's still a, a very special relation with the cosmos. We feel the earth with the sea, the air, the wind, the ice, the snow in relation with the cosmos. And so uh, maybe it's the right place to, to feel uh, for a while as a human being and to meditate. Uh, not a thing to think about. There is track everywhere, old graves. It's beautiful, it's touching me. So we have a sense of uh, where we are coming from and where we can go without spoiling it. <laughs> <laughs> 